Who rules? Someone's got to be in charge. If you compared all the governments in the world, you would find one thing in common. Someone is in charge. The question is, who? There are many different forms of government. Some have one leader who has all the control. Others give power to the people. Here are some forms of government that exist or have existed in the world. Me, myself, and I. An autocracy is a government in which one person has all the power. There are two main types of autocracy, a monarchy and a dictatorship. In a monarchy, a king or queen rules the country. A king or queen is known as a monarch. Monarchs usually come to power through their family line. The current king or queen's oldest child becomes the next king or queen. In some monarchies, especially those in historical times, the monarch held all the power and had the final say over the government. In modern times, monarchs usually share power with other parts of the government. Often they are also subject to the country's constitution. A dictatorship is a form of government where one leader has absolute control over citizens' lives. If there is a constitution, the dictator has control over that too, so it doesn't mean much. Although other parts of the government may exist, such as courts or a lawmaking body, these branches always do what the dictator wants them to do. They do not represent citizens. Power to the people. In a democracy, citizens hold the political power. There are two fundamental types of democracies. In a representative democracy, citizens elect leaders to represent their rights and interests in government. The elected leaders or representatives do the day-to-day -day work of governing the country. They consider the issues, work to find solutions, pass laws, and do all the other things necessary to keep a country going. Citizens hold the ultimate power though, because if they don't like what their representatives are doing, they can vote in new ones. In a direct democracy, there are no representatives. Citizens are directly involved in the day-to-day -day work of governing the country. Citizens might be required to participate in lawmaking or act as judges, for example. The best example was in the ancient Greek city-state called Athens. Most modern countries are too large for a direct democracy to work. We, ourselves, and, um, us. In an oligarchy, a small group of people has all the power. Oligarchy is a Greek word that means rule by a few. Sometimes this means that a certain group has political rights, such as members of one political party, one social class, or one race. For example, in some societies, only noble families who own land could participate in politics. An oligarchy can also mean that a few people control the country. For example, a junta is a small group of people, usually military officers, who rule a country after taking it over by force. A junta often operates much like a dictatorship, except that several people share power. Religious rule. A theocracy is a government that recognizes God or a divine being as the ultimate authority. Theo is a Greek word that means God. In a theocracy, religious law is also used to settle disputes and rule the people. A theocracy can also be a democracy, dictatorship, monarchy, or just about any other kind of government. For example, the Republic of Iran recognizes Islamic law, but Iran citizens vote to elect their leaders. Modern theocracies are usually found in countries where the population is strongly religious. Rule by none. In an anarchy, nobody is control, or everyone is, depending on how you look at it. Sometimes the word anarchy is used to refer to an out-of-control mob. When it comes to government, anarchy would be one way to describe this human state of existence before any governments developed. It would be similar to the way animals live in the wild with everyone looking out for themselves. Today, people who call themselves anarchists usually believe that people should be allowed to freely associate together without being subject to any nation or government. There are no countries that have anarchy as their form of government. We know a government is a requirement for a country to be a country. So let's look at our chart. We have a couple examples of who, who rules. If no one rules, we have anarchy. If one person rules, we could see things like a monarchy or a dictatorship. If a few people rule, we could see an oligarchy. And if all the people rule or play a role in ruling, we have democracy. So where would we put theocracy on this chart? Well, let's take a look. So if I look back to theocracy, I can say that there's definitely a case where one person rules. Um, Saudi Arabia is actually a a monarchy that uses a theocracy, which means that it's based on religion. Uh, there are examples of a theocracy being an oligarchy where the church leaders are in charge of the country, and instead of being elected, they're the ones who make the decisions. And then the last one, there's democracies. The reading itself talks about Iran citizens voting to elect their leaders. So we can see a theocracy just about anywhere.
Here's what you need to do to make sure you finish everything today. First thing, take the quiz. You know the deal. Three questions, six points total. One point just for answering a question. Two points for getting it right. Zero points for not getting it done on time. Open book, open note, and open internet. Find the answers where you need, but I recommend going back and listening to the video to find answers. Then we need to complete the review activities. They're checked for completion, and answers are provided on the following slides, along with guidance and instructions to find the correct answers. So make sure that you are following along with everything that happens on the next couple slides, and we get our work done on time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to identify real-world governments that have the forms of government we just talked about. We're going to talk about Switzerland right now. In Switzerland, citizens elect representatives to sit in two law different lawmaking assemblies, but citizens also vote several times a year to decide on laws. Citizens can vote to propose their own laws or undo laws passed by their representatives. All citizens may vote directly on these laws. So in these, you're going to see either there's one blank or two blanks. If there's one blank, there's only one type of government. On two blanks, there are two forms of government. So we have to identify two forms of government. So I read through this and a couple of words stick out to me that show me that it is a representative democracy. So why is it a representative democracy? Because I see this word elect. Citizens elect representatives to sit in two different lawmaking assemblies. So if they're electing representatives, people to represent them, it makes sense that it's a, rep a representative democracy. There we could also write republic, because remember, representative democracy and republic are interchangeable. So I also see in there, there's one word that really stands out to me, and that is the word directly. And that tells me it's a direct democracy. So citizens can propose their own laws and vote directly on those laws. And that means that the people are directly engaged in government, which means that they have a little bit more say than just electing representatives. Now, there is one thing that could change one of the answers here, and that is if Switzerland had a king or a queen that their elected officials share power with. In that case, it would be a constitutional or a limited monarchy, but it says nothing about a king or a queen, so it definitely isn't that. It's a representative democracy. Let's do another one. Let's talk about North Korea. In North Korea, one man leads North Korea and controls its government. He also controls its ruling political party. The ruling party chooses candidates for an assembly and citizens vote. The candidates do not have opponents, so citizens have no choices. So there might be a couple things that you read in here that might lean you one way, but I can tell you for a fact that this is an example of a dictatorship. And it's actually pretty close to what we would call a totalitarian dictatorship, where one person has total control over all aspects of society. So our form of government is a dictatorship. Why is it a dictatorship? One person leads, the citizens have no say, and also, he didn't inherit the power necessarily, and it's not a situation where royalty is involved, so it wouldn't be a monarchy. So one person leads, citizens have no choices. This is actually our most famous example of a dictatorship that exists in the world today. 